you always have to have a plan B. This was plan A. Welcome back to M Hood Fishing, everybody. Plan B. Not much of a trek to get to it either. So I came out here to shoot a video about the bike and to explore the canal that I was just showing you, which is right here behind us. I wanted to see if the fishing had improved on it. It suffered a pretty bad fish kill because of Hurricane Ida. And that wasn't too long ago. There are still fish, but not as many as there used to be. But what about this? Last time I was out here trying to do stuff other than micro fishing, I stopped here to try it out and I caught a bunch of bullhead. Let's see how many bullhead I can catch today and if I'll catch anything else. Just definitely fish in here. I don't know what that was that we just scared. It looked like really big. There they are, right there. They're a little too small for that size six. I have to come at this a different way. The biggest reason why I'm fishing the little pond is because I've ran out of time and it's just it just hasn't been good. I've done a lot of exploration today on the canal and nothing. This is my last last chance to get a video. This is pretty much just a little mud hole, but it's got fish in it. I believe this is one of those things that subdivisions do in the early days when they're trying to attract people. They build a little pond with a fountain so they have a water feature when you come in to look at the empty lot you're going to build a house on and that water fountain's right there as you can see but hasn't been working in a while oh had a bite there still around the bait too you see the line quivering just a little bit there we go he's picking around there got got something here whoa -ho -ho. wow Little bullheads for sure. I wonder if we're gonna get anything bigger. I think that's about the size I was getting out of here the last time I tried it, but I didn't spend a, quite a bit of time. I didn't spend a lot of time last time. Yeah, you're right. Happened before I could turn the camera on. Same size. Maybe an elephant hair bigger, but nothing huge, is it? Put me back, put me back. It's hard to imagine that anyone in Southeast Louisiana would go out of their way to stock a little pond full of bullheads. So I guess there's a possibility of that, but I would say that these probably got in here naturally because this species is in the canal behind us fish probably got in here when stuff was flooding but i won't rule out the possibility of somebody stocking this little pond full of bullheads doubt it though occasionally i see some big blow-ups so i have this square bill on let's just give it a show give it a go Here we go. Got him. Same size. Not very big. It's gotta be something bigger in here. Got him. 
Ooh, feels a little bigger this time. Not by much. I know quite a few people by now are telling me to keep these because I could catch big flatheads with them. And you are right, but I did not bring anything to do that with today. No, no buckets or anything. Did I get them? That was quite the hit there. I didn't. I guess the lesson here is when the other fish are complying, catch the ones who are. And so far, these fish are complying. Or <laughs> maybe I'm catching the same bullhead over and over again. Dang it. Oh, man. Missed him again. That means I can't leave. I'm going to just let him have it this time. Come on. Take it all. Oh, something broke the water right there. No, dang it. No, <laughs> dang it. Oh, sometimes you just have to walk away like you don't care, and then that's when it happens. I'm probably just getting frustrated over really tiny bullhead. Oh, here we go. That worked. No, it didn't. Still can't leave. Here we go. Yes. Finally, we can leave. Same size. Maybe we'll have to come back in six months and they'll be a little bit bigger. Somebody actually stopped up there. Wonder if they're gonna say hi or say, you gotta go. Yeah, you're right, the mud puddle full of bullheads. Well, that was pretty fun. At least I didn't come out here for no reason. I want this canal to come back to life because it used to be a pretty fun canal to fish for pan, panfish and bass. And it will, it will. But until then, I'm gonna go home. So thanks for watching and subscribing guys and I'll see you next time.